This is an admiring hand. <laughs> <laughs> so these are three scooped out yeah. of one of the forms. Yeah. So all these these two bowls came from the big one. Wow. Wow. And that, it's that is fantastic. Yeah. And that's just the raw form to yeah. go into the um into the kiln. And they're all wet. Why are they all wet? Because a damp. I squirt them with water. Yeah. To keep them damp, to stop them cracking, because it's, it's quite hot today. Yes, it so is very you, hot today. When you're nearly finished, do you make a bigger flat bottom? Um, no, I, I, I'll actually, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. Uh, actually, you crack it off. Yeah. You get it down to this uh, kind of diameter, and yeah. then you can crack the bowl out. Right. And it'll just pop right out. And look at the, it's got, and the spalting doesn't weaken it because that's right across. Uh, if it's too much spalting, yeah, it can. It can. But the black lines, they're, they're still fairly stable. Oh, good well, to know. They're beautifully ornamental. They are gorgeous. Well, no, they're functional too. You can have lovely salads. Oh, look at that. There we go. Perfect. Threesome. And they're from those forms there. Yeah. Excellent. You're going to use that one. So oh, and this, this is, is the... I, I made the, the tendon on the bottom. Is to, so that it can fit, yeah. that can squeeze it. Squeeze it open, closed. And that holds it in place. Excellent. Mark out. This is, at the very beginning, you're going to mark out yeah. the different... Yeah. Different sizes. Of bowls. Yeah, so I know where to put the cutter. Ah. So I try and make the big one about an inch and a quarter. Okay. So I put a little mark and then a space for the cutter head. Okay. And then the next one, I want the, the rim to be about an inch. Okay. And then a space for the cutter head. And then the last one is the smallest bowl, also about an inch. And so that'll be the big one, medium one, and the little one. Three. Ah, oh, very good. And the quarter inch there is your yes, margin of error. Space for the, the cutter space head. Space for the cutting edge. Yeah. The blade. Which is that yoke there. Yeah. So do you hand hold this yoke? Um, no. Maybe I should show you in a minute. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I should first, jump first ahead. I need to hollow out the small okay. bowl. So okay. I need to remove Look this. this lovely little bowl. This bit here. Yeah, that's from his beautiful jewelry boxes, yeah. his ring boxes he made with uh, Emer Weiss, wasn't it? You did the wood turning and she yeah. did the... Um, the metal. Silver inlay. The silver inlay. Oh my goodness, you have a dust extractor yeah. fan attached to you. Oh, yeah. you you look like you're like a spaceman from Star Wars. So. Might be some chips flying this way. Okay. Good.
So that's the first bowl's depth. Hollowed out. Hollowed out. And now we use the uh, scooper duper thing. Yeah. Ooh, this is the fun part. All his tools. Just a, a little spacer. It's a little spacer so that yeah. I know where to place this mechanism. So that when the first, no, when the largest cutting knife goes in, I know that there's still about that much between the bottom of the bowl and the chuck here that's holding. Ah, the, yes. So that I don't go through the bowl. No, 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 no. Don't want to go through that. That would be a useless bowl. Yeah. smallest one. So that's measured up to your marker there. Yeah. The scoopy thing. And is that your guide, that second one? Uh, it's a support blade. Okay. For this one, because Eventually, this whole thing will be inside the bowl. Okay. So I can feed this part in. Okay. And it'll support the, the other bowl. The cutter knife. Oh, the cutter knife. Okay. And we're ready to go. Okay. Woohoo! Check it to see how loose. How loose it is, yeah. smells so good that is beautiful so that's the first yeah. and then we go on to the second one which is a different blade again
Nearly. And voila! That, and so you can see where the break off is, but these are perfect in their thickness and everything to then go into your kiln for, what is it, eight weeks? Eight, ten, sometimes twelve. Eight, ten weeks, twelve. Where's the, this one is here. There's a third little one. And so there we go. And then that's the big one. That's the salad bowl. So that's the salad bowl, the fruit bowl, and the car key bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have other names for them, or are they just small, medium, and large when you sell yeah, them? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Do yourself. Yeah, this is true. You, you never know. You could have it uh, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear porridge bowls. Okay. And there we go. One, two, three. That is, that's fantastic. It is. It's beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? And now you squish them with water to yeah. for the moisture. Yeah. And do you wrap them in plastic until do, you put yeah. them in the kiln? Oh, there's so ones you've done earlier. I did this morning. These are already the ones you've done. And some, I mean, you just don't know. Some are deeper, and then this one's a very shallow one. Yeah, that's actually the one from yesterday, the one that had the big hole in it. Oh! So... By the time I got rid of the hole, you know, everything got shallow. I still have a pretty good bowl. That is a pretty good bowl, and this yeah. is a lovely shallow one. Perfect for spare change and car keys. Yeah. And beautiful, too. Oh, that's very interesting. So that's the one with the hole in it. Look at them. Yeah. They're so gorgeous and moist. It's the whole aspect of not knowing how much you have to um, keep them wet. Yeah. You know, all these different little tricks yeah. that I suppose you learned when you learned. Yeah, but probably a bit overcautious. Well, it's better overcautious. Yeah. because Does it you mean you keep them damper than you think yeah. you should? Yeah, I think so. But that's... Because <clears throat> I've already put so much work into getting to this point. Yes. Uh, uh, I just don't want anything to go wrong. I mean, at this stage, you're three... D Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I started with Monday. you on Friday morning. Yeah. So that's um, three solid days, and you've got a whole bunch more days. So, yeah. yeah. And the, the ones that I see turned over here on the shelves, yeah. those have already been in the kiln. Yeah. So that is what they will look like after they come out. Yeah. So this is, um, what kind of tree is this? Beech. Oh, but not spalted like these. Yeah. So it's a different, richer color. Look at the circles in that. That is that's beautiful, fantastic. isn't it? Yeah. And you can see how much it's worked, how oval it is. Yes, it's gone very oval. So, but with your turning, you will rectify the ovalness. Yeah, yeah. so this will go back onto the lathe. I have to return it. Yeah. Inside and out. And then sand it. And then. Oil it. Oil it. And then it's, and then it's for sale on your website. Yeah. No, but the, the color difference is yeah. beautiful. And it's the same kind of tree. It's a beech tree. Yeah, it's an Irish beech tree. An Irish beech. But you can see the difference. Was it a greener chopped was, down? Yeah, it only fell down uh, last winter, I think. Okay, so it was still very green. Whereas our tree was dead standing a number of years, yeah. then fell for a number of years. Yeah. So it's interesting, the color difference you can see. Um, between the two, even though they're the same species of tree. So, very interesting. That's fantastic. And then, that's, I love this, the um, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Baby Bear bowls. Or, like I like to say, salad, fruit bowl, and uh, car keys and spare change. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. That's yeah, all terrific. very interesting. 
Um, maybe come and see when they're coming out of the kiln or something like that. Yeah. Um, be the next episode. If you like, I can show you some finished ones. I think I have one of your, the last tree you gave. Oh, yes. In the gallery. Oh, yes. Would you like to see those? Sure. Yeah. yeah.